Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, if you're a radio nerd like me, then you're most likely sat and spent a few hours scanning through the radio bands, trying to find weird and wonderful transmissions. Now, sometimes we come across transmissions that are not intelligible or audio transmissions, and that most likely means that it's either a scrambled transmission or it's been digitally encoded. Many forms of digital transmissions appear all up and down the RF bands, but sometimes we want to know what they actually are. Now, before software-defined radio was a thing, it was difficult to visualise what these transmissions look like, and most of us just got to learn each of them just by how they sound. However, software-defined radio is now extremely popular and has brought so many benefits to the hobby, including being able to visualise the received signal. Over time, we learn and remember what each type of digital form transmission looks like, but then we come across some that we just don't recognise. Of course, we can use a website called SIGID Wiki, which provides an FFT plot so we can see what the signal looks like and most of the time there's a little play button which plays a short snippet of what the signal type sounds like. More detailed information about that signal is also available for you to read through. But what if you're not connected to the internet? How could you access this resource? Now this is where Artemis comes in, and this is the application which I want to show you in this video. Artemis is available on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and the Raspberry Pi is also available to download free of charge from their website. As with any free, useful radio related software, it's nice to take time to thank the developers. Some people don't realize how much work and time it takes to create great working software. So thank you to all of those involved with the development of Artemis. Now, after you've installed Artemis and ran for the first time, you'll be prompted to download the Signal database. And once downloaded, you will not need to connect to the internet again, unless there's been a database update made available. It's nice that the database is separate from the main installation, because this means you don't have to reinstall the application every time a new signal has been added to that database. So once the database has been updated, you're ready to start searching for the unknown signal. Down the left side, we have a list of all signals the database holds. As you click on each of them, you'll notice an FFT plot appear on the right side of the application, which shows what that particular signal looks like when it's being received and viewed on an SDR radio. You can also click the little play button just above it to hear what that signal sounds like if you're receiving it live from your radio or SDR. OK, so let's put this to the test. First, we'll find a signal in real time using an SDR receiver, and we'll look closely at what the transmission looks like on the waterfall, and also listen to hear what it sounds like too. And once we're fairly confident its packets are similar, we can then pop back to the Artemis software. Using the filter tab, we can enter a rough frequency. This will help to filter out any unwanted signals and only show signals that are known to transmit in the range in which we heard the original signal. So for this example, it's 131 megahertz. Now when going back to the signal tab, we can see that the left side list will only show the transmissions for the filtered settings. Going down the list, we can easily identify the signals that are not what we're looking for. But when we come across an FFT plot that looks similar to what we saw on the SDR software, we can then press the play button to see if it sounds the same. Now in this case, the signals sound the same and we have identified the signal heard on the SDR software as an ACARS transmission, which come from aircraft. Now, now that we know the type of signal that it is, 
This allows us to choose the correct decoding software so we can look further into the signal's data. Now, luckily, SDR Uno does have an ACARS decoder plugin. So with that enabled, we can start to see the transmission packets converted into something human readable. Now, not all digital transmissions will be able to be decoded. And that's because most of the time, they'll probably be encrypted. But it's still good to learn what type of transmissions they are. Now, at the time of recording this video, there are 494 different signals recorded in the database, which by all accounts is a pretty hefty number. Ultimus does allow you to enter your own signal entries into your local database, and you also have the ability to edit the ones which are already there. Now, this is useful if you want to add more information to the description tab. For example, you could list what software you use to decode certain signals. Great for remembering when you come back to it at a later time. Now, one last feature to show you of this great Artemis software is Space Weather, which provides real time data on solar activity. Now, if you didn't know, solar activity can affect radio waves or essentially the absorption of radio waves within the ion sphere. The information shown across the four available tabs should provide some useful information about the current band conditions and even what to expect over the coming days. Now, while HF is generally great for contacts around the world, sometimes the sun's ejections affect how signals travel. Sometimes it's in bad ways, and sometimes it's actually in good ways. This space where the tab provides some useful information and is a quite a nice addition. Well, there we go, guys. I wonder out of all those 494 signals loaded into the database, you have decoded or at least heard of. Let us know down in the comments below. Until the next video, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.